Well, hello friends, hello, hello, hello. Nikki Reese on my update for my hospital visit. Right, 3rd of January 2013. I had to wait. We'll put it come out. The appointment was half past one. I have to come out there at court 10 to 3 time. I left at 11. Do something else downtown. Anyway, my right knee is, they're going to operate, it reckons they'll, op they'll operate within two months, so it's eight weeks. They were looking at the end of March. <clears throat> end of March. The aneurysm is in the back of this leg. The aneurysm, the aneurysm is in there. The aneurysm is in there. And I'm going to have an eight and inch, nine inch scar, a nine inch cut down there. So you pull it open about four or five inches and when it's closed up, it closed up with staples. So I'm going to have a nine inch scar on the back there and I've got a nine inch scar on the front here. <coughs> and the funny thing is, I've got to lay down on my face to have this operation for two to three hours <coughs> and then have 17 days in hospital. So I don't know how I'm going to find it to bend my knee with the staples in the back of my leg, behind my knee, so it won't interfere with the kneecap or my knee replacement joint. <clears throat> and so I'm going to be in hospital seven to ten days. <sighs> We're going, yeah, seven to ten days. So this guy was actual anaesthetist, so he just come out in operation from the hospital. A bit late, but a bit later than ever. Now, if I've got to get my car in, I think, on the 23rd of March. So, I told them, no operation till after the 23rd of March. Anyway, guys. Nine inch scar on the back, and I've got one on the front. So, my right leg had been cut open, my right leg had been cut open on the front and on the back with two nine inch scars. Front, back, front, boom. You could feel the aneurysm, it's an inch. It's got to be done ASAP because it is lethal. Oh yeah. If it was to if it was to burst, it cuts the blood supply up to the foot, then you've got to have your leg amputated. So if it was to burst before the operation, I've got to have my leg cut off. But let's hope it don't come to that. They did say if it actually bursts, you will lose your leg. Because once it bursts, it cuts the blood supply up. From the time they get in there and operate it on, it'll be too late. So it'd be an amputation rather than do the aneurysm. So anyway guys, I'll be in touch again about my operation date, so we're looking at the end of March. So this is Nick Reese, 30th of January 2013, wishing you all a happy new year. I asked him all the ins and outs and everything and oh yeah, why have we got to have a big hole at the back here so they can clamp it off either end stop the blood supply and cut this big bit of vein out so you can put a bypass in. He said they can use plastic but the vein will last longer. So I don't know what they're going to use. They would take a bit of vein from somewhere else or put a piece of pipe in and it's sewn up on each end. Anyway guys, I'll give you some more information when I get it. Anyway guys, all my friends in the Philippines, Hong Kong, Israel, Singapore, and I, please watch my trip advisors, please. I'll put a, all of you, all of my, most of my friends, young daughter friends, lady friends, on trip advisor. So there's a hundred, nearly 300 pictures on trip advisor. So if you please watch that, some of you will find pictures in there, some of you won't. But anyway, this is Mick Reese from England on the 30th of January 2013. Wishing you all a good night. Oh, by the way, it's now nearly five o'clock at night. Five o'clock at night in England. Bye. Bye. Bye.